I want to know your views with respect to the proximity of these attacks to the 2024 GA elections and also the timing of some of the very controversial statements that uh, Mr. Gandhi has been making. It is divisive. It is confusing. It is unclear. A man who does not know his roots, a man who does not know what he's talking about, a man who does not know who is challenging, he's challenging the spirit of India, the oneness of India, the unity of India. He's challenging the idea of India that the masses believe in, not what Nehru and Gandhi cultivated to remain in power. He belongs to a party which was raised by a white man. A you human. What do you expect of him? Indianness? Love for the country? Love for Bharat? A sentiment? How can you even expect it? The man is a PR exercise. That's it. He says I'm a reluctant politician. He says I'm an accidental MP. Go to the gym, take a swim. Dude, you don't have to do it. You don't have to wear a band gala and you know, speak in Harvard or Oxford or you don't have to give interviews to the Gora. And when you speak, you need to be careful. Because the people of the world are watching you. The people of India are watching you. Your words are being heard and they are being taken note of. And they'll be replied by the ballot. Remember, you may speak in opposition of India for your hatred for a party in power which has unseated you and your party which has ruled this country for the most part. Your idea of India essentially cannot be an idea for India, idea of India for every Indian. It's a democratic country and people choose their governments. You've been rejected twice. You've been rejected from your own traditional seat. Yar, tu si amethi to chale gai ho, Vyanard, which is down south. Us to baad samandar hai. There is deep sea after that. So when you dance with the devil, the devil dance with you. Yaad rakho, don't forget it. You raise questions on Indian Army, the capability of Indian Army. When you say China has ingressed in India, you don't say the, that it's a Modi's loss. You essentially mean to say that your 1.5 million strong Indian Army is not capable of protecting the borders. When your own Papa's Nanaji gave away a lot of land, he essentially accepted a sovereign nation Tibet to be a part of China. Why? Who gave him that right? It's the same Congress party which is responsible for division of India. He uses this surname, I'm sorry of a man who wanted to create a land passage between East and West Pakistan, therefore dividing India further. How do we believe in a man like that? Just because the Gora Admi, the white man is giving him a stage. Huh? He's, give, he's been given a stage to bring out a negative portrayal of India. A poor image of India. So we believe him because the Gora Admi wants us to believe him. No, that's not going to happen. He will be replied to. Certainly he will be replied to. And like I said before, Amethi se Vayanad or Vayanad ke baad ab Hind Mahasagara bhai Dekh lo if you can swim And it's going to be a very long swim I'm telling you from there to the west So seriously On a very serious note Again see I don't know how much Panditji would know but nobody takes him Really seriously like I said The, the man is a complete PR exercise And oh balab jala only na You need the filament a fuse bulb, no matter to see picture, kidney, bijli, shadow, jalda, ni. The pan is a fuse bulb. To see, chadi jo current, the current is not going to glow. 
because the whole idea, the entire ideology is a flawed ideology. Aaj to 10 saal pehla, I don't know, Pandeji, where you were, but as Indians, I was here, I am here, and I'll continue to be here. I'm not going to leave my country for anything. We used to be very hopeless about India. 10 saal pehla. We used to say, yaar, India ka kuch nahi ho sakta. This country is done dusted. India is hopeless. Now look at these 135 crore people. They have confidence in India. Wo hum honge kamyaab se, hum honge kamyaab. Matter of time now. The world wants to deny us our position. They speak in whispers. India, India, India. Ona nu pata hai, we, we, we are at the world stage now. They know. They can't ignore you any longer. So they will try and create disturbances within. These people supported the Kisani Andolan. 65% of Indian population directly or indirectly connects with the agriculture. We had liberalization in 91. We've seen industrial growth. We are number one, number two, number three in various manufacturing sectors. So the attempt of the government was to bring liberalization and reforms in the agricultural sector, which affects the 65% of population. If 65% population of this country is happy, is progressive, is growing, the standard of living is grown, the country is a developed country. They don't want that to happen. So they create a divide and disturbances. And these people, the Rahul Gandhis, the Arvind Kejriwals, they come out and support them because they're being funded by the Gora, by the white man. How do you trust these people? You can't trust them. They don't have a roadmap for India's success. If they had, they had a very long time. India would have been successful already. So there are a lot of flaws in the way they conduct themselves publicly, in what their public discourse is and what their reality is. Their track record is something they can never hide. And Rahul Gandhi comes from a family and a party which has butchered six. I mean, apart from all the negativity that they have, I have a strong bias against the party. Not because what they did in 84, but also because they repeatedly rubbed it in our wounds. Sam Petroda says, hua to hua. They make uh, Kamal Nath the chief minister of Madhya Pradesh. They bring back Titler to the top. And after committing the heinous crimes in 84, Sajan Kumar was made a Rajya Sabha MP. He was given an MP ticket. He was heading several high positions in government of India for a very long time. Similar case with Jagdish Titler. He was a minister in the Union government of India. They were rubbing salt into our wounds. And that is where these Khalistanis gain traction from. So they complement each other, the Congress and the Khalistanis. They complement each other. They gave them enough breeding ground to breed discontent amongst the Sikhs against the state of India. Forgetting that it was Modi who came in power and respected the Sikh religion, whether it was Katapusap corridor, whether it was celebrating, you know, occasions, Sade Tinsu Sala, Sade Pansu Sala, Charso Sala. He did nothing in 84. Why, why do you blame Modi for 84? I don't understand. Their, their whole argument is flawed. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.